Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Happy Sabbath with me and Kyle. Morning, brothers and sisters. It's great for me to be back with Brother Michael in his home on the Sabbath day. Yeah, and we welcome you on this sunny beginning of autumn day. It's been getting cold, but the sun's outside, so it's nice and sunny. So I'm going to ask Kyle to open with a prayer to invite God's Spirit to be with us. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask thee to be with us this Sabbath day. Celebrate your holy Sabbath, the passing of the bread and the wine. We ask, Heavenly Father, that you will look, over, look after and over all your children, regardless of what nationality or whom they are that you will bestow your blessings upon them, keep them safe, and bring them peace in their minds and their hearts. And I say this in the name of our Saviour, your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Carl. So welcome on this happy Sabbath day, and I hope you've got all your emblems ready to partake of the sacrament. We will shortly be doing the prayers. Also, I should tell you about a few other things we're doing with the fellowship. Uh, I should be looking at um, some scriptures that that we had brought to us. Uh, well, there's lots of scriptures, the Book of Mormon. Uh, I'm going to be. I've been going to be looking at the book Chronicles of Aranak and stuff, and we'll be doing videos for that later on. So. And we got prayer night on a Wednesday night. Don't forget to join us for that. And we did have another person join us, but she didn't stay long the other night. <laughs> I think she said she got on the wrong one. <laughs> but never mind. It was nice to see another person there. So let's get underway and start off with the prayer for the bread. At this time, we welcome all present to Christ's table. We invite all who would participate to do so as an expression of the peace and love of Jesus Christ, in whose name we worship. The Lord's Supper is a sacrament, a time to focus on the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As disciples of Christ, we renew our covenants and recommit together to His mission to grow closer to Jesus Christ, as individuals and as a community, worshipping Jesus Christ through God's Word, the sacraments, ministry, outreach, Kabbalah, and Jubilee. We encourage all that are worthy to receive communion to do so frequently and devoutly. And if you'd like to bow or kneel, uh, whatever you prefer, and whatever is safe for you, As we pray for the bread, O God, the Eternal Father, we ask thee in the name of thy Son, Jesus Christ, to bless and sanctify this bread to the souls of all those who partake of it, that they may eat in remembrance of the body of thy Son and witness unto thee, O God, the Eternal Father, that they are willing to take upon them the name of thy Son, and always remember him, and keep his commandments, which he has given them, that they may always have his Spirit to be with them. Amen. Amen. So God bless you, brothers and sisters, as we get ready to for Kyle to say the blessing on the water. Uh, may you kneel or bow, whatever's right for you. O God, the Eternal Father, we ask Thee, in the name of Thy Son, Jesus Christ, to bless and sanctify this water to the souls of all those who drink of it, that they may do it in remembrance of the blood of Thy Son, which was shed for them, that they may witness unto Thee, O God, the Eternal Father, that they do always remember Him, that they may have his spirit to be with them. Amen. Amen.
This week's message is shared by Brother Devin from Washington State. Hi everyone, my name is Devin Atkins, and today's message is on Jeremiah 12.2. Thou hast planted them, yea, they have taken root. They grow, yea, they bring forth fruit. They, thou art near them, near their mouth and far from their reins. In our day, in our daily lives, we can get caught up and rooted in our in ourselves and our worldly circumstances. Sometimes we get rooted in how much that we have. This brings ourselves to a self-thought and far from God. This is not fruits of righteousness or of good works. We are not in the grace of God, but are caught up in worldly substance. This is not true repentance. At times, as people of God, we boast about being Elohim's people and teach the word and have no thought of our actions while teaching the word of God. Our hearts can become cloudy and sinful and not fill home the true love of God. This will make our faith dwindle in unbelief in God. We can seem like we are close to God with what we say and teach, but in our hearts can be far from the Lord. I think it's very important that we carefully keep in mind as people of God and what we say just carries a lot of weight on how we represent the Lord and how we show the fruits that we have within God. And I know this is a short uh, message um, but I do feel impressed that this is that we need to be vigilant in seeing and watching and remembering our Lord Jesus Christ as we act in our daily lives how are we showing that God is near us and that we are near God. We are to be a teachable people. We are called to teach. But how can we teach if God near us in our mouths and in our reins? But we don't show it. We don't show it in our actions, in the way we live. And I thank you. I thank the Lord for the scripture being brought up. I do believe that as we follow and study more of the scriptures, we will change the way that we live. That we will be, we will come even that much closer to God. And I say these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So thank you, brothers and sisters. That concludes the sacrament part of our service today and uh, uh, don't forget Thursday night is prayer night do come along and join us and look out for the new videos uh, I guess somebody's going to do a study of the Book of Mormon I've been asked to do or I will be doing a study of uh, the Restored Branches Church Scriptures the, the Chronicles of Jaranak and Aranak. So we will read through those and see what we can get from it. Don't forget uh, that the Fellowship's website above and my email address if you need to contact us. So, Kai, would you like to say closing prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank thee so much for this day. We ask thee that they bestow all thy blessings upon your children, 
that you may that you may watch over them, care for them, and keep them safe from all harm. I say this in the name of your beloved Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So, as we finish up, we can only say one thing. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom, brothers and sisters. And we'll see you next Saturday. Peace be with you. And peace be with you. Shalom. <laughs>